The biggest lie throughout all Christianity is the grace gospel. No matter where you go, no matter how old people are or how young, you will find this dominant theme throughout Christianity, which is this false grace gospel. What I find is people don't care that God is merciful. They don't care that he is love. They care to keep on sinning. They are not accentuating the point of grace because God is gracious, but because they want him to make exceptions for their personal perversions, for their personal errors. They don't mind if they continue to sin the rest of their life as long as God forgives them in the end. Jesus did not come to pardon us from our sins, but to sanctify us, to separate us from the world of sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we refuse to be cleansed and purified and purged, then we can by no means walk with him as his children. The church teaches that you just have to believe that you're saved and washed clean. And as long as you believe it, you can name it and claim it and get to heaven because God will forgive you with his grace. You know, there are many verses that the Christians pull out of context to prove that they are saved by grace, not by work, so no one can boast. They go on and on and make their twisted doctrines about how no one can stop sinning, everyone is sinners as long as we're in the flesh. On and on they blabber. However, they don't listen to the words of Jesus. Jesus said that whoever sins is a slave to it. You are a slave to that which you obey. Jesus said, whoever sins is a slave of sin, and a slave will not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Therefore, whoever the son sets free is free indeed. People don't believe Jesus' words. They say, well, that can't possibly be. Everyone is a sinner. Jesus came to set you free from your sins, and if you believed him, you would pray to him and ask how. What is impossible with men is possible with God, and if you believe that he can do all things, you certainly would also believe he can purify you from all unrighteousness. Don't fall into the huge lie that is across this world, that Christians believe and non-Christians believe alike, that God will just pardon your sins and make an exception for you. You have to do the work. Jesus will not force you to do your work. You have to cry out to him. Show him that you're serious. Show him that you mean business with him, that you really love him. People like to say, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me. God is love. Everyone knows that God is gracious and loving and kind. But how about us? Do we really love God? Are we really wanting to do his work? Or are we just wanting a pardon for our sins without lifting a finger to get sin out of our life? Jesus knows if you are serious or if you're playing games. And he has the authority to let you into heaven or to cast you into hell. What will he say to you on your final day? May the grace of Jesus be with you.